Welcome, friends, to the Play Guitar Podcast. I am Lee, and I am here to help you become the guitar player that you always wanted to be. This is a true welcome to the podcast for a lot of new players that are coming in, maybe from YouTube. This is the first time you may have been exposed to this podcast. We've been doing this for a long time, since 2018. We've been helping thousands and thousands and thousands of guitar players get out of the rut and start moving forward. That being said, this is not the lesson video. If you're looking for the lesson video, or I have a ton of them, look at the link in the description and that'll take you to them right there. There's all sorts of fun stuff to do. But if you're here and you've got a few minutes, to me, this is much more important than a lick video lesson or one of those things. This is where the real help comes in. What I've found from helping a lot of frustrated guitar players over the years is that at some point when you keep piling on more songs and piling on songs and piling on more licks and adding licks on top of licks, at some point that stops working. You stop getting better. It's diminishing returns. Have you felt that way? But a ton of players will do that over and over again, thinking what they're doing is going to help, thinking they're doing the right thing while they're just banging their head against the wall over and over again. But because they're not progressing, they think there must be something wrong with them. I'm doing the work. It should work. So the problem is me. Some, I'm, I'm just not good at this. I'm just not cut out to do this. What I'm here to tell you is there is nothing wrong with you at all. You are just missing some things. You're missing some very important information. Most likely a long time ago, when you first started playing guitar, you jumped ahead of some things. You skipped some things before you were ready to do that. You took matters into your own hands. And it's easy to do that with the a la carte method of learning guitar on YouTube. And why'd you do that? Because it felt like the right thing to do. What you learn, and I've learned over time from helping people, is what's exciting and what's fun can fool you into thinking you're ready to do that before you're actually ready. You haven't built the skills up to get to that point yet. Does any of this sound familiar? I hope if if you're anything like my coaching students and me, and uh, it, it should sound familiar. If you're practicing, if you're putting the time in, You should be progressing. You should see it. And if you're not, it's pretty evident that there's something else wrong. There's something else that's the problem. It could have been 40 years ago. And you can be stuck right where you were 40 years ago today. And you've been playing the whole time. I see it all of the time. If you've listened or watched the podcast at all, you hear I talk about light bulb moments a lot. Light bulb moments. Why? Because I see them every single week. That's when you get it. All of a sudden, you see a way out. You see the new path and it happens instantly. And these light bulb moments usually come from basic things. Nine times out of 10, not advanced ideas, not this thing, the secret. It's basic stuff that you missed. Basic skill work that you just didn't know about. Or maybe you glossed over that a long time ago. I've found that some things in all of these podcasts I've done, some of the things that I've said are worth repeating. Here's one of those. Playing guitar is not difficult. It's just not obvious. Think about that for a minute. When you hear your favorite players or you hear your favorite songs, you don't think, Wow, the timing on that was awesome. (laughs) Or you think, oh, she really targeted those chord tones really nicely. Or or he used that phrasing so well. Or or those chord voicings really complement this song. You don't think like, nobody thinks like that, right? But if those things are not there, here's what you do think. You think, well, that sucks. I, I don't know why. But it's I can tell it's I'm not sure why it's but 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 something's missing there. There are certain structural skills that support all of the cool stuff, all of the flash. Right. You've got to get these 
basic skills under your fingers. How do you get somebody excited about mastering the basics of guitar if they've continually over decades ignored them? That that's where I that's what I do. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy at the end of the tunnel. I'm waving. I'm saying, "Hey, if you do this, this and this, come straight towards me. If you do these things, then you get the good stuff." This is the shortest path right this way. So so career beginners, career beginners, what does that mean even? It's simple. It's someone who never progressed despite the work that they put in over a long period of time. I want to help you career beginners. And here's how I'm going to do it today. I'm going to show you what I see on a weekly basis. I'm going to turn the tables put you in what in my position. This is what I see. And if any of these things ring a bell for you, it might cause you to do something different, to do some changing and finally start to move in the quickest fashion, in the, in, in the right direction for you. That would be awesome. That would be great if this podcast today could change that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the three big things that I hear and see consistently from career beginner students. And then I'm going to talk about what I do to help those things. So the the, the big one, number one, is I see a lack of focus because of something, because of information overload, constantly going from this new thing to that new thing to this new thing, and not seeing any results from it. So what we do about that, the very first thing I do is I start to help the students be decisive about what they want. Most people think, well, I just want to be good. I want to be a great guitar player. I'm going to be good at this thing. That's not specific enough. That's, well, you know, if I just keep playing, I'll get good one day, right? That's slow. We want fast. We want to get this stuff moving, right? So how do you do that? Well, you got to put your finger on it. What do I want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do with your life? (laughs) Right? What do you want to do with this? Let's get clear about it. Let's get specific about it. What what do we want to do with this? What do you want your, your guitar playing journey to go towards? It could be, I want to be, this is the common one that I hear. Uh, I want to be able to sit in with a a bunch of people, maybe two or three players or maybe a band, and feel like I belong there. Feel like I have something to say, that I know enough and I can play well enough that that I can hold my own in that. Or it could be, uh, I want to be able to play at an open mic night so that I can get up there and play and and I will, it will go well. I won't go home upset. Right. It's going to go very well that night. I want to know these songs and be able to play them in front of people so much. Or it could be I want to be able to play a song from beginning to end. That's a big one. There's there's a ton of people I see over and over and over again that don't know any songs. They know lots of little parts of songs. They don't know anything from beginning to end. So what are we going to do? We got to choose the way we're going to learn this. Right. Uh, a trusted resource. It could be a friend of yours who's doing the thing that you want to be able to do. Someone who's been through it. Hopefully they can help you. They, they, hopefully they can teach you a little bit there. It could be a course that you know will give you the result that you're looking for. It could be books. It could be a teacher that could help you move forward who has been on that path and knows how to help people right? You got to choose those things, but it's not enough just to choose. You have to stick with it. You have to see it through. Don't get halfway through and then get distracted. Don't get halfway through and say, well, you know what? I really didn't think, I thought this is what I want to do, but now it's not. No. You know what that is? That is fear. That is, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be good at this. This isn't going as well as I thought. I thought by now I'd have it, right? Forget the fear, right? See it through. 
see these things through and see if you can, if the way these people are helping you, uh, see if you'll be able to do it with that. Make the decision after you finish what you're working on. You might be very, very surprised. Another thing is to keep, to keep you away from the information overload is blinders. Wear some blinders, not really wearing blinders, but here's what I mean. If you've listened to the podcast before, I talk about, you know, some things are worth repeating. When I, I grew up in an area that was close to some Amish people, and you know, the Amish people, they, they, they use the horse and buggy. They go on the roads and they, they create a lot of traffic <laughs> and a lot of people get angry, right? But the horse doesn't care. The horse doesn't even see them. Why? Because it has these little pieces. I don't know if they're cardboard or felt, I don't know, but little black things on the sides of their heads. So they can't look left or right. They can only look down at the road and forward in the direction that they're going. And you'd see all these people backed up in traffic, taking forever to get where they're going. And the horse goes right to, the, to its home in the shortest amount of time possible. And that was profound to me. I, when I, I saw that, I was like, wow, that's the way to get some things done, right? Wearing some blinders, avoiding the, all of these different things, avoiding the temptation to constantly switch or do something new every day to keep, you know, to keep the, the, the to, to get new adrenaline every day, right? No, learn to work something through its course, right? Don't constantly switch between different learning materials. Stick to one and practice it. Now, how do you practice? If you listen to this at all, you know that I recommend a daily practice routine. It doesn't even have to be very long, but daily, every day, visit the things that you're working on. This is going to put you into the path of long-term memory. It, it puts these things that you're working on into like driving and breathing and eating and walking. These things that we don't have to think about to do. It takes it out of the energy consuming short term memory and puts it into the nice, easy, long term memory. And what do you do these days? Focus on small things, manageable tasks, things where you can see, OK, I can get this done in one or two days. Those are the things you want to do, not big, huge problems. So let's go on to part two. What's the second thing that I see from career beginners? An awful lot. I see players who put themselves down. They say negative things about their, themselves. They're playing. It's, it's a lot. And their self-esteem is low when it comes to guitar. So let's talk about this. How can we turn that around? How can we get uh, self-esteem to switch to a high self, low self-esteem to switch to high self-esteem. How do we do that? Uh, first, you got to recognize the signs of it. You got to say, oh my gosh, it's happening to me. These things, these negative thoughts, these negative things that we say out loud about our plan, I've said, I'm never going to do that. This is never going to happen. Those little things that come into your mind, they're distractions. They're distracting you. They're taking the energy that you need to get these tasks done, and they're pulling you in a different direction. Sometimes they pull you to something that's not even healthy for you to be doing, right? So uh, overeating, right? Or just uh, uh, watching too much television. These things that take you away from the goals that you want to be able to do, right? It impacts your progress. But... You have to know that this is not just you. It is a massive amount of people that go through this. This is very common, and it's more common among career beginners and beginners, too. Early, intermediate beginners and career beginners. That's when a lot of the negative talk happens. Once you hit a certain, once you, to me, it's once you get into intermediate, when you know you're solid in intermediate, that that stuff goes away. Then you go, okay. If I made it this far, there's no reason I couldn't keep going. So how about this feeling of defeat, right? I feel defeated. This guitar has, it's whooped me. I'm down and this thing is not going to let me get back up. I want to tell you that you're not defeated. 
Okay. We, we've got some skills that we need to build. That's all. And this is something you can do. You've, you've learned all these other skills, right? We, we just don't have them complete. We're going to have to shift this mindset from defeat to being determined. I'm going to learn all these basic skills. Uh, I'm going to learn rhythms. I'm going to understand strumming patterns. The things that aren't the most fun things to do. Some people think they're fun. But I'm going to learn these things. I'm going to make sure that um, I'm going to learn all of my different eighth note strums and where I can accent eighth notes and where they all are. Uh, I'm going to be able to play them easily. I'm going to be able to play all my chords and use these different eighth note strum patterns there. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to be determined to do those things. And then being resilient. If it doesn't happen quickly, uh, don't get don't get down. Say, okay, you know what? Didn't happen today, but I'm a daily practicer. You know what that means is I got another chance tomorrow to do this stuff. And if it doesn't work tomorrow, I'll figure it out the next day. It's not over, right? This, for me, guitar playing is a lifelong thing. I don't have that feeling like, well, if I don't get it today, that's it. I'm done, right? That's a defeated attitude. We're trying, I'm trying to get you away from those things. So what we're going to do is, to build that confidence, there's a lot of little things we can do. The, the, the celebrating sounds silly. Oh, I'm going to celebrate. I, I'm, I'm, and a lot of times we celebrate for no reason. We'll go buy a guitar just because it's me. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to guitar just because I want it right there, right? Well, why don't we take those little things that we spoil ourselves with and put um, something that has to happen before we get those. We need a little victory. We need to be able to say, okay, we were talking about rhythms. I'm going to get down four new strumming patterns. And when that happens, I'm going to go buy a new pickup for my Stratocaster, right? Putting these things, giving us a little fire to, to start moving down this road. It's a shorter road than the other way, but it's a road that we need to push ourselves down. So maybe that might be something that happened. To you. Um, another thing that pops up with this is getting down about yourself, being defeated because things didn't turn out the way that you'd hoped. Right. So you've done it and say that, well, you know, I, I was doing good for a while and then everything went south. And I don't know what happened. Um, but it's just, I've been taken in the complete wrong direction here. I don't really know how to get out of this, right? These are setbacks, right? Um, sometimes you find yourself in a setback and you don't really know how to, how to think about it or how to, to put it into words. Um, but just saying, you know what? I'm in a setback. I'm in a ditch. I, I, I'm not getting any better. I'm not even having fun doing this anymore. Does any of this sound familiar? It's, it sounds familiar to me, right? I'm not, this isn't fun anymore, right? Um, letting yourself be in a setback without it defining you. Just because you're stuck in a ditch, it doesn't mean that you're the type of person that's always down. That's not the case at all. You did every one of those skills to get to the point that you're at. For some reason, something's holding you. You might have some anchors, there's some parts of playing that you just aren't just need to refine or you haven't even done yet that are holding you back. We're going to use these setbacks. We're going to use these as opportunities. We're going to flip this around. I'm in this setback. There's something wrong, right? I'm not getting any better. I should be playing lead like crazy. I'm practicing my scales and there, I, I'm, there's something I'm missing, right? There's the opportunity. The opportunity is to search that out. What am I missing? You might have to ask some people. You might have to record yourself. You might, uh, you might, you know, get a teacher. Or you might um, find a, a book that helps you with step-by-step approach to say, oh, I've missed this step. But the setbacks we're going to look at as opportunities to improve and to grow. What about the last thing? The last thing that I see from career beginners I see players who are too embarrassed to get help. Ooh, <laughs> too embarrassed to get help. I don't know how to do this, but I don't want to ask anybody, right? 
I'm going to do this on my own. Why? Because I don't want anybody to help me because then it's going to look like I just don't know what I'm doing and I just can't handle that. Well, I have a question for you. How, if, if that's you, if that sounds familiar, how's that going for you? Right? How is, how is keeping it all in and hiding, hiding this frustration that you have? How is that working for you? I have a feeling it's pretty rough, right? How about this? Let's, let's look back at the progress that you have made, what you've been able to do up to this point. And I want you to identify some areas that you feel shaky in. Well, I, I'm really good at my chords, but scale patterns, I know one or two, but I don't really understand the, the system. I don't really understand how it works. Most of the things about guitar, if you understand how they work, the why, if you watch any of my videos, every single one of these lick videos, I sneak teaching into them. I always talk about why they work. I talk about, well, what note is this? The major third. Why would I use the major third? Well, that's the note that makes it sound happy. Uh, and if I do that, it's also a strong note and a weak note. I always talk about why these licks work the way they do. Because if you understand why, then maybe you'll take that lick and change it a little bit because you'll have ownership of it. You'll understand it. But if you don't, if, you, if you're doing things that you don't really understand what it is you're doing, that you need to put like a little star on those things. You be honest with yourself about these challenges. These struggles, these are the things that I need to work on, right? Um, there's nothing embarrassing about that. Nothing embarrassing at all. You're not the only person. Let, let, I, I, I wish that you could see what I do <laughs> in one week. All the different things that I go through. It would make you feel like, hey, I'm not alone. There are a lot of people who are really frustrated with learning the guitar. The system that we've had up till now is not great. It's putting people in ditches. It's getting you up to a certain point and then putting you on a dead end road and you can't go forward anymore. But just remember that when you're learning these things and when you're in the, in the weeds, right? When you're trying to learn how to play something and it's not working out, you don't know what to do. You need help, but you, you feel like you sound so bad, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reflect on you as a person, right? You're embarrassed about that. You just got to realize that it's never going to feel right until you're through. You're always going to feel like that until you're out of the ditch. And then the second that you get it, you go, oh, I can do that now. Isn't it funny how you just forget about all that frustration? It just kind of lifts and it goes and it's, it's like smoke. It's just kind of goes away. And you're like, oh, I, it feels like, oh, I've always been able to do this. <laughs> right? You don't remember how far you came. Uh, and, and that's tough too, because then you think, oh, I'm still, I, I must still be horrible because I'm just used to feeling that way. Well, no, you're not. You moved up. You knocked that goal down, right? It's not going to feel right until you, it's over. Okay. Accept it. And accept that seeking help is nothing you should be embarrassed about. It's a step towards improvement. It's something you have to do. You have to say, this doesn't feel right, but I'm going to get some help. I'm going to move through this. This is not a sign of failure and it doesn't reflect on you because it's everybody does this. And the reasons why that you're struggling are because you're missing some things. What would have happened if you had all of your basics, all of your basic skills solid the first five months that you learned guitar? You'd be in a different place right now, wouldn't you? You'd understand things better. Just remember that everybody needs help at some point to move forward. If you're not moving forward, you need some help. How do you do that? So you think, well, maybe, you know, I, I, it's, it's all, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with um, self-doubt and I don't want to look bad, right? Well, sometimes you go into that and, and it's, it's kind of like a shy thing. Well, well, okay, maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll give, I'll buy a course. Or I'll do those things. And then you kind of like, come here, come here, come here, and then get away, get away. <laughs> come here, get away. Come here, get away. Right? So what? What you should do is give 
this system that you're trying to learn from a chance. Okay. Find a teacher. It doesn't have to be me. I would love to teach you, but if it's not me, find someone who resonates with the way that you learn. If you learn a certain way and someone, you find someone or you find maybe an app or something that works for you, resonates with you, find that and be open to it. Open up yourself to this stuff. Once you do that, you're going to get through this stuff much faster and open yourself up to feedback. If it's some, if it's a teacher or someone, you should say, Hey, what, how, what do you think about this? Right? So if you have someone who's helping you, a teacher or a friend, and they're putting you down, they're making you feel negatively about what you're trying to do. That's not the right person. That's, you don't have to learn like that. Find someone who, when they give you some, some constructive criticism, they do it in a way that doesn't make you cringe. (laughs) <laughs> that doesn't make you feel like, forget it. I'm checking. And I know this because I had teachers who were like that, right? Find someone who's supportive and pulls you in the right direction. And let me tell you something. If I can help you, if that's something that you would like, if if the way I teach, and if believe me, you can, this is episode 368, the career beginner turnaround, right? If that's something that I can do for you, if the way that I teach resonates with you, Hey, just get in touch with me. You can go over to playguitaracademy.com forward slash play dash guitar dash coaching. The link is also in the description. And then you can fill, there's a little assessment I have, just some basic questions right there. And I'll get right back in touch with you. And then uh, we'll set up an appointment just to meet for free and just talk about this. And I'll tell you about my coaching program and why it could help you, especially career beginners. I love teaching career beginners. Okay. All right. So I hope you saw yourself In some of what I'm saying today, I hope that what I offered as I was going through the different points is a way out for you for those things. And um, let me know. Send me send me a message. I'd like to hear what you think. So that's a wrap. I'm going to call it. Thanks for joining me today for the Play Guitar Podcast. Make sure to hit the button below to subscribe to the show. And if you have benefited from the podcast, a review over at iTunes, Apple Podcasts would be really cool. Uh, It's the best way to make sure that the they they push the the show out to more people and we'll get more people changing their lives with the guitar. Uh, and also if more help structure and results in your guitar playing sound good to you, you can find more about all the things that I offer over at playguitaracademy.com. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you're a career beginner, there is a lot of hope for you. <laughs> I, I mean it. I see it every week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.